Hello and welcome. You might remember a long time ago, I got like one of these books and did I even talk about it? I don't remember. Anyway, this past uh, New Comic Book Day, I got these six issues of Xenon here. Uh, they're consecutive, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And uh, the more I read of this series, the more I feel like I'm just reading The Giver. <laughs> now, to be fair, I've never read like a Giver manga or something. I've only ever seen like uh, the movie that had Mark Hamill in it. And... I watched the anime one time 19 years ago, and I don't remember anything about it, except it was super stupidly violent, and that was kind of cool at the time, because edgy teenager, right? So that's what I remember. And flipping through this, this is like the most insane, crazy action. Like, so much of this book is just insane action just happening. Uh, I put a tab here, because there was a funny bit here. You know, this monster's like, right? Look at this dialogue. Look at this dialogue. Your history, dumb head. I cracked up. I absolutely did. And every time there's like fighting, the old dude's like hanging around and the girlfriend's like crying and stuff. That's all very like melodramatic. And it's fun. That, that's kind of the key takeaway I had with reading this. Like, I didn't really care about what was happening. God, I'm going to make this sound terrible. I didn't care about what was happening, but every time I turned around, something awesome was happening on the panel. And I just I just had to keep reading it. I couldn't stop. I picked this one up, and I was just flipping through it. And then the next thing I know, I picked this one up, and I started flipping through it. Now, this one, I got, like, two tabs here. And if I remember, this is because this one has, like, some absolutely crazy, crazy stuff going on. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, no, wait. This is kind of like the downtime issue. But I thought, like, look at how lovingly rendered that motorcycle is. Like, that's the way you draw it if you're trying to sell me that. That's a great-looking motorcycle. Driven by a great-looking babe. Like, this is some good stuff, man. This is very classic. You couldn't do this in modern American comics. Uh, what was the other tab I put in here? Oh, look at this floppy disk! Oh my gosh, I still have five and a quarter discs somewhere. I don't have a drive. No, I take that back. I probably actually have a drive somewhere that can read them. It's just not hooked up to anything. Look at this lovingly rendered computer. You're, you're just like, you were just talking about a crazy action. You're showing us this boring computer stuff. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm absolutely sorry that I've disappointed you. But, uh... You know, this, this whole book, like... No! Look at this! What he just does to this guy? Oh my gosh! This dude just... This, he just exploded into gore! Okay, I take it back. I'm reading Fist of the North Star now. I mean, this whole th Everything in this... I, I bookmarked that one just because of splorch. Like, that's just crazy. And there's a lot of drama about the hero turning into the robot monster and stuff. And uh, Oh, where's, where's the old guy? Where's the old guy? Justice without strength is useless. Oh, good good advice. Good advice. I can find the old guy real quick. I want to show show you the old guy. Like one of these books has Oh, well this might do it. Like, look at this dude. He totally looks like that one politician from Akira, man. I forget if that politician is in the Akira manga, because it's been twenty years since I read it. But you know, that that one politician, the the guy that's selling money. Uh, like the resistance, like some stuff to the resistance movement, like that guy, like he looks like that guy. Come on, come on. I think he's the villain in this. Anyway, it doesn't matter because it's obviously not the same person. It's just like the same archetype. But this book, every time I turn around, something new and incredible and absolutely crazy just shows up on page. And it's a treat to look at. It is absolutely a treat to look at. I wish I could tell you in honesty. That, uh, yeah, look, there, there he is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's totally the old politician from Akira. It totally is. The one that has the heart attack and dies. Uh, anyway, boom, right there. Back off, monster. This book is, you know, it, it, it really does live up to the title up there, Heavy Metal Warrior. Like, this definitely, even if this dude was not wearing an awesome armored shell. Uh, oh, this was like a, a talky issue. But look. Hero gets a kiss. It's just for luck. Blush. Uh-huh. Just for luck, my, my name patootie. 
Gosh, I'm going, look, I'm going through these, this review like as fast as I read these. I absolutely devoured. Look at this robot, dude. This robot. Look, there's the hero. There's the robot he's got to fight. Isn't that amazing? It looks so cool. Everything in this book just looks cool, man. Uh, I if if you see these in like the fifty cent bin and they're just waiting for you to drop a couple quarters per issue, like I highly recommend picking this up. If you can find an actual collected manga volume of this, uh, presumably published by Viz, uh, you you absolutely should because uh, just based on what I'm seeing in these six issues plus what I saw in uh, the older ones that I own, it it is definitely worth it just for flipping through the art. And looking at lots of crazy, crazy stuff. Because that's what this book is full of. It's crazy, over-the-top, insanity, and uh, people's heads exploding. What more can you want in a manga, right? Seriously. This, I don't know what to make of this book. It's like the Giver, but it's not. And it's, it's just nutso. It's absolutely nutso. You all take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I don't know if somebody's like, Ah, oh, man, you should be reviewing... Batman 100 page giant or something. I'll get to it. I promise. I promise. You got to give me time. You got to give me time, okay? All right. See you later. Bye bye.